Hi, another day, another guitar. Lovely sunny day here in uh, England today. It's September 20, 2023. Um, another guitar, as I say. This one, a uh, bit of an unexpected one. I wasn't really expecting to have a guitar like this to show you, but since I've got it here, I will do. And then I'll tell you a bit about, very briefly, about how I came to have it, because basically it was um, on its way to the tip. Poor thing. Anyway, so I rescued it, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in the end. So what is it? It's a Yamaha, a Yamaha APX500. I think it was made in around about um, 2020, something like this. And Yamaha made this range of guitars uh, really for uh, stage bands, electric bands, who wanted to have an acoustic instrument to play, to plug in. Of course, that's plugged in through the um, uh, strap button at the end. Uh, uh, just as right. It's a um, uh, fairly thin-bodied guitar, uh, and I'll tell you a little bit more. It has this beautiful finish. They made a number of these in lovely finishes. This is called Oriental Blue Burst. It's really lovely. I don't think the image fully gives just to the luster of the colour, which is actually all around, as you, you can see. Anyway, lovely guitar. Um, uh, it's... Uh, uh, well, a few few details about it. Um, it was made in Indonesia um, and has a spruce top, probably laminated. NATO back and sides also all laminate. A lovely rosewood uh, fingerboard. And interestingly enough, this sort of oval, rather oval trendy sound hole that it has. And w what you think might be an inlay isn't actually an inlay. It's actually a plastic insert which is slightly proud of the of the top here. And uh, I say when they, I think I read that when they were sold, they also had a, a, a plastic or rubber mount to put in there, obviously to block out or try to reduce uh, acoustic feedback. Um, it has a, 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 a Yamaha uh, preamp, Yamaha um, pizza pickup in the bridge here. Um, uh, nice, uh, nice, uh, pretty nice tuning forks. It's got a apparently a urea um, nut um, strings on it. Well, I don't know what it was came with originally, uh, but very nice, very nice, very nice neck, um, and um, generally a really nice guitar. Very nice action on it. Um, it has obviously binding around the outsides back and front and binding also on the on the fretboard as you can see there so a really nice really nice guitar and uh, as i said it was uh, bound for the tip uh, but we have this service in the uk called free serve so if you want to give something away for for nothing uh, provided people come and pick it up and respond so my wife spotted this guitar uh, on FreeServe in the UK, it's a web-based service, um, and uh, she responded pretty quickly after I said, well, I'd like to have a look at it. There was a picture of the damage on it, and um, we went over and we picked it up. And so, uh, having had a look at it, um, I decided it was going to be fairly straightforward to um, fix. What had happened to it is that it had been dropped, and as always, if these guitars tend to be dropped, the neck can fracture. So the neck didn't come right off, but it was pretty well fractured all almost the way through. But um, as you can see, I managed to, as you can see there, I haven't finished it yet, but you can see I've managed to uh, restore it, stick it with some really good uh, PVA uh, wood glue uh, with a few clamps, and I've managed to clamp the, uh, and fix the, fix so that basically now, it's that part of it's uh, restored. It just needs uh, me to find some kind of lacquer and colour in order to uh, fix the, um, the site. But anyway, you, so you can see the damage right across the fingerboard there. But anyway, and the only other thing that happened is that it had lost the battery holder. And, uh, and the good thing is if you buy um, instruments from good companies like Yamaha, very often they'll keep all the parts that you need if you lose it. So this this originally had lost the battery holder which goes in here. So I took the original out and I managed to get uh, a replacement from, from
from Yamaha from a local store uh, and it, it, it's obviously then been put back in here just in the uh, just beyond the, um, the, the neck here. Uh, the, um, pe uh, the preamp here has, has volume of course, uh, low, mid and high range equaliser. It has a tuner in it and it also has a thing called AMF which the idea behind this is if you're getting feedback at particular types of pitches you can control if you like a dip in that particular tonal range to reduce the feedback. I've never had to uh, use that, but that combined with the with the um, uh, rubber cover that would have fitted in here would have done much to try to uh, uh, produce a workable instrument at high volumes in on stage performances. Uh, and obviously, it has the um, uh, cable in the uh, um, uh, strap button there, and there's a strap button here at the base of the neck. All in all, a very nice guitar, lovely finish, and I've had this now for a few days, and it's holding tune really well, which suggests that the repair has been, um, for anybody got any ideas about where I can get uh, a lacquer range of colours that would match this beautiful so-called oriental blue burst, uh, that's very nice. In fact, they made several different tones of this, very much really, I guess, for stage performances. Yamaha make some lovely instruments and I think at the time that it was made it would be no more than 220 230 pounds now they don't make the two the 500 anymore but they make a thing called the APX 600 which you can get for around about um, 300 pounds UK pounds and you can convert that to whatever your currency is it doesn't have this plastic um, surround here uh, it's now got an inset um, uh, surround. Okay, so uh, you you probably like to hear some tones. So uh, first of all, here just some tones with it uh, through the um, just the microphone that I'm using there to speak through. So here's some tones. <laughs> intonation is, is really good on this guitar. So it's good for um, the pick sound, obviously with a sharper sound. So yeah, so uh, very nice sound, very easy to play. The uh, intonation's really good. The, um, yeah, really nice guitar, despite the fact it's uh, had a little bit of um, uh, a little bit of history, shall we say? And as I said, of course, you can you can plug it in, and and when I read reviews about this guitar, this is where they say this guitar really comes out because people say, well, the sound is a little bit thin compared to a standard acoustic steel string guitar, which of course would be much deeper. I think this. At the widest part it's about nine centimeters and you might expect uh, a standard sort of acoustic guitar to be around about 13 to 15 centimeters so quite a bit deeper uh, but anyway it's certainly uh, nice it's got a sharp sound and i kind of like that now if we plug it in uh, which i'm going to do now and start playing it play it about there so now it's coming through um, a little acoustic amp i've got here with no real uh, everything by the way everything is set about midpoint there mid uh, treble and low settings on midpoint here and same thing with the little acoustic amp I've got so let's have a listen to it but and this is they say they say oh it comes alive so let's have a listen <laughs>
yeah, uh, it sounds really, really nice uh, uh, through this little acoustic amp that I have. It's sort of an aroma one, which I've uh, made videos about before. Uh, it's a really nice little um, battery operated um, uh, acoustic guitar amp amplifier. So there it is, uh, the Yamaha APX500. Um, in the end, didn't go to the tip, managed to repair it. It's a really, really nice uh, guitar, lovely finish. Uh, I know some people like to have um, a kind of a standard wood kind of finish. Uh, this is trendy. I think this would appeal to um, much younger people than myself, but I really like this guitar. Where is this guitar going now? Well, I hope that my guitar playing granddaughters who are sort of either just nearly a teenager or just teenagers uh, who are guitar players would like to would like to have this uh, guitar as a as a as a freebie uh, I'd like to hear them playing this anyway so thank you very much for listening thank you also for those people who subscribe thank you for all the people who send in questions and uh, I hope I can answer them all for you and so do so again if you have any questions about this guitar uh, then let me know or about anything connected with guitars and instruments, and I'll see what I can do uh, to answer those questions. Thank you again very much, and goodbye for now.